In this video, I'm going to show you really quick how to use the Stream Deck to control your ATEM switcher. Hey guys, this is AJ, the CEO. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by. And on this channel, we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So I love the Elgato Stream Deck. I've been using it for years, and there's so many ways that you can program this thing. I actually used the mini version for our live streaming PC to make it very easy to control our live streaming in a church environment for people who are non-technical. They only got to press buttons one through six, and that's pretty much it to go between scenes and everything. But you can also use this the exact same way on your ATEM. So let me show you actually how I do that. All right, so I am here on a new profile that I just called ATEM. And let me get rid of this generic one right here. So what I'm going to do is open up the ATEM controller here. All right, so the first thing we want to do is set up your cut and copy. Now, you can come up with whatever pictures that you want. I don't really have any pictures for right now. Um, but let's go ahead and we're going to go into the Stream Deck control software system we're going to do a hot key and i'm going to put two of these here in the bottom now the hot key here is to cut now with this to work you have to have the control software up um, you can have it minimized but it needs to be running when you do this as of right now there's no way to send commands directly to the atem unless you start getting into programming and that's not what we're doing we just want to have this simplified so that for example you have the stream deck and you have you can pull it over to another computer if you're working somewhere else and control everything so the very first command we want to do we want to do cut which is really simple because all that is is hit the space bar which I'll do right now and it just jumps directly to whatever your scene is so we just gotta click on click to assign hit the space bar boom that's it now the fade works with just the enter button so if we hit enter now it fades in between the two so that's real simple. Now you could always come in here and change the pictures if you want to. Now I have one, two, three, four, five. I only have five items that are connected to my ATEM right now. So I can do this. I would do a hot key for each one. One, two, three, four, five. And these function just with the number keys. So if you just did number one, as you can see, it's going through and picking the equivalent camera. Now, that's just the number by itself. So, let me actually drag these down here. So, these are preview. So, I'm going to say, call this preview 1. What if I spell it right? Preview 1. Actually, let me make this shorter. Well, I don't know why I'm saying that. I need to put these in names I know. So I'll say PC1 monitor 1. And the command for that is just 1. I'll put that over here. And then PC1 monitor 2. That's 2. Then PC2. Three. Then my PlayStation is four. And then my 4K camera is five. All right. So if I come in here now and just press any of these buttons, now I'm pressing the buttons on the Stream Deck, and that's what's giving me these commands. So that's just your preview. Now, if you want to, now by doing this co combination, I can say, let's go here. And I'm going to set PC number one. So now I can hit fade. 
and all of this is controlled on my stream deck so I can always pick whatever one that I want and that's it now but what I'm gonna do is just do the exact same thing again and we're just gonna copy all of this but now this is actually gonna make it go live so now that would be control one and this is control two control three control four control five so now if I go press number one see it goes directly to it completely bypassing the fade all right so I have that there now other buttons I they are still working with um, commands so like the DSK one two and things like that or like for me I would love to be able to I don't have it here but at church I have a hyper deck I would love to be able to hit the record button here or do a DSK fade in out or transition stuff like that um, I haven't found those commands for that but once you get them you would just put in the exact same way here so I hope that helps really simple um, and very powerful if you needed to get something like that done and it makes it a lot easier for people who may be intimidated by the control scheme of the ATEM software. So I hope you like this type of video. If you do, I appreciate a like, consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other great videos here. And there is a link in the description. There are affiliate codes for the three types of stream decks listed in the description. When you purchase those, we get a small kickback. Nothing comes out of your pocket, but we use that to help continue to grow this channel, to come out with more content and do product reviews to help modernize your media ministry. Anyway, this is AJ. We'll see you on the next video later.